Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Mission Matters. I'm your host, Adam Torres. And if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Become a Guest to Apply. All right, so today is a very special episode. We're bringing Trisha Turner back on the show, um, and we're happy to announce that she will be participating in an upcoming book launch at Mission Matters. So, hey, Trisha, first, I just want to say welcome back to the show. Thrilled to have you back. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. All right, Trisha. So um, we have all kinds of things to talk about today. I know you got some some big updates. You've been busy, busy, busy. Hub 510, uh, Piggy Place Bar. I mean, we got a lot of uh, of updates on your end of things. And for those that haven't caught maybe some of our previous work together, of course, we're going to get into what you're doing over at Trisha Turner Property Group. Um, But before we get into all that, we'll start this episode the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, Trisha, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Trisha, what mission matters to you? I love that you just asked me that. So we do have a mission because we believe that every organization has to have a vision and a mission and, of course, an enemy. And so our mission is to build better lives by building better agents. Yeah. Um, awesome. And, and great having you back. So first off, I don't want to, again, I want to assume that some of our, our previous uh, or our new audience has uh, caught your previous episode with us. So just to get us kicked off, maybe tell us a little bit more about how you got started in real estate and really on that path. Awesome. So I've been doing real estate for over 20 years now. Um, got my real estate license pretty much right out of high school and went full force into real estate sales, was even a lender for about six years, went through the mortgage industry crash, of course, in 08, 09, and 10. Wasn't loving that at all. So let my lender's license go and went back into real estate sales and have been just selling ever since. Got my broker's license a few years ago. Um, I've been at every big box company out there, Mm -hmm. opened my own independent brokerage several years ago, did that for a couple of years. And then EXP came along and I found a love for, you know, being part of something bigger and collaborating with the top 1% in the industry across the world. Mm -hmm. So um, I dissolved or left my own company, I should say. And I now run a mega team within EXP here in Houston, Texas. And we have about 20 agents um, with a goal of 100 million in sales volume for this year. So loving life and loving all the doors that open up for me every single day. Yeah, a big, big fan of EXP and all the work being done over there. Great organization. We've worked with uh, multiple individuals and uh, we're working on on some other projects with them. So I, I just, I'm just a big fan of what they're doing. So I'm, I'm glad to hear. Yeah. Um, and so today, just to let the audience know, um, we're not going to really do a deep dive into the book and into what and, and into Trisha's contribution. But that's intentional because this is part one of a two part series. We'll be bringing Trisha back on the line and we'll do a deep dive after the book is released. Why? Because we sell books, right? So, so we're going to leave you a little bit of a cliffhanger on that one. Yes. But um, I do, we will get further into uh, Trisha's content overall. So I guess just to get us started, like let's dive a little bit deeper into Trisha, or excuse me, to Trisha Turner Property Group and what you do there. So tell us a little bit more about your market. I believe you're in the Houston market primarily. We are. We're in the Houston market, um, heavily focused on listings. We're more in the west side of Houston. So, and of course, Houston, we've got tons of suburbs. So our office is centrally located in the Richmond, Katy, Fulcher area, which is west Houston. Um, We have most of our agents focused here. I was born and raised in Houston and then migrated to the Katy area about 20 years ago. And so I've raised my kids here. They went to all the schools here and really got a love for the community in Fort Bend County, which is one of the largest counties here and got heavily involved in a lot of volunteer projects here about nine years ago, especially once I launched my own brokerage, you know, as a business owner, you the more companies you can get involved with, the more people you can get in front of, the bigger you're going to grow your business. And so I was quick to do that when I got my broker's license and then really found such a need for it and really found that, you know, I believe that we're better together in all things. And and as the world continued to get weirder, especially after COVID and during COVID and all of that, it became really imperative if you're going to be a business owner and build a big empire that, which is my vision, then you have to pull people together. And so in the last couple of years, we have really, 
gone not just to, uh, into being a real estate company because that is our core foundation. We are a real estate company that is what funds most of what we do, and that will always be what we are. That is at our core. However, since joining EXP, of course, and then going through COVID and learning how to bring people together in different ways, even when people were afraid to be together, um, found a real love for it. We're really good at it. And so the, this last year, 2022, we have branched off and, and, you know, it's crazy. If you would have asked me 12 months ago, would I be doing the things that I'm doing right now? I would have said no, because they weren't on my vision board, but apparently uh, God had a different plan for me. Oh uh, yeah. And I, and I, and just, uh, just for, and we've known each other over a year already. So yes. you told me some of the updates um, uh, that you had going on and this and that. And I know at one of our previous calls, you're like on site and you're doing some other things. And I'm like, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, like, this is exciting. I'm like, man, now I have a reason to come out to Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's get into some of those projects. Where, yeah. where do you want to start? <laughs> I want to start, first of all, when when I opened my real estate company, which has been years now, yeah. we um, had a, a real estate space, of course, an office space, paid rent over there for about five and a half years. And the goal was always to obtain our own building yeah. and, you know, go the traditional real estate route where you buy a commercial building and then you probably have a title company in there paying you rent and you probably have a mortgage company paying you rent. Basically, you're in there for free and you're collecting rent from these people. And that was the way that we were going to go until about early January, 2022, February, 2022, when we really were looking at, because we started doing events a lot last year in 2021, just out there at least once a month, bringing people together, doing real estate panels, trying to educate the consumer, trying to make people not be afraid of being together. Like we're okay. And so, and that costs a lot. Like when you're out renting venues, number one, you've got to find sponsors and and it's stressful and you sometimes can't get the location or the date or you can't make it happen or you get a low turnout and then it's not, no one's happy about it. And so Mm -hmm. it was stressful. And so about the very beginning of the year, my partner is like, why are we out looking for a commercial building just for the real estate office? Like, why are we out trying to find a property where we can bring it all together? Like a real estate company, we can have our own event center because this is what we love to do. And we're good at it. Like why are we not expanding? And so lo and behold, I did an event at one of these places that we rent Mm -hmm. and we fell in love with this place. And it was two and a half acres on unrestricted land, which is very hard to find in Houston. Mm -hmm. And it had this small event center on it and it had a structure on it for a real estate company and it had another structure on it and room to grow. And it was like, oh my gosh. And so I told the owner, I said, I love your property. If you ever want to sell Mm -hmm. or know of anybody around here that has a property like this, I am looking to buy. Well, she didn't say anything. She was like, well, these properties usually don't go on the market and they don't. Two and a half months later, it was on the market. The very property that I was at. Oh, come on. Yeah, swear, swear. And you were right. God had other plans for you. (laughs) We, of course, uh, made a a full price offer immediately. And now fast forward, we closed on the property mid 2022. And fast forward, we added on, we basically redid the entire event center, changed the name. So, and through all of this, keep in mind, my son had a baby. So he and his now wife um, had decided they were going to have a child and they're young. Congratulations. You know, it's like, okay, whatever. And so (laughs) he was born May 10th of 2022. And so when we closed on this property, which was in June, we're going through all the construction and revamping things. And so we got to rename everything. I'm like, I want to rename this. And so it was like, what is the purpose of our event center? And me, everything is intentional. I do everything with purpose. And so it's like, the purpose of this event center is to bring people together. It's a hub where mm-hmm. we'll manifest. We're going to create memories and we're going to to make things change lives. Well, hub what? What is the name going to be? Hub what? And yeah. so we threw names around. And so the their daughter was born May 10th. So we named it Hub 510 because wow. it was named after her. Well, then once she was born, she had a baby bottle in her mouth like constantly. And mm. so I nicknamed her Piggy because she was just a pig. <laughs> and so we added on because when we bought this property, the Hub 510, we were, of mm-hmm. course, going into construction mode there. And mm-hmm. the goal was to attract big weddings. Well, you can't have a big wedding without a bar. Yeah. And in real estate, we like to entertain as well. And we like to have happy hours. Mm-hmm. So we got to have a bar. There's always got to be a bar. 
And so we added on to the event center and added a bar and we named that Piggy's Place. So she, the little (laughs) baby, is the originator of it all. 510 is her birthday because it's 510. And then Piggy's Place for her nickname. So when you go to our website, which is hub510.com, you can click on the little tab Piggy's Place and her image pops up and her name's Victoria. So it says Victoria, a.k.a. Piggy. And so oh. it has been, oh my gosh, uh, insane since June because we were in construction mode for mm-hmm. months and we literally didn't do our grand opening until I think it was uh, end of October or mm-hmm. middle of October, but it has been one of the biggest blessings ever. I We are having a grand time. People come here and they're like, yeah. It's so peaceful and it's so beautiful yeah. and everything inside the event center. You know, we bought everything brand new and mm-hmm. it came out absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Wow. What yeah. an amazing story. And, uh, and I have chills. You know what else 510 is? What? It's my birthday. Seriously? I'm not joking. When you said that, I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> that is insane. So yeah, and that wow. and, and that happened the year she was born, that happens to be my 40th birthday. Hit the hit the that is crazy. <laughs> I love it. That's oh, so now so now I have to come out and see it because it's uh I know it's after Victoria, I understand, but I'm gonna yeah. take a little credit for the naming too, just to get in there. Yeah, you have to. Well then <laughs> and we'll I'll give you up. I'll give you another little fact on that one. Yeah. Uh um five so so in Mexico, uh, they don't change Mother's Day, like the date, like they do here. Okay. So 510, May 10th is Mother's Day every day in Mexico. Just a little fun fact about, about my and Victoria's birthday. <laughs> I love that. So now it has even more meaning. Oh, that's so yeah, that's good. Cool. And so with all of that, like when, and, and it's so crazy the way that God works, because the people yeah. that we bought the property from, mm-hmm. they're an older couple. Now we've gotten to know them because Mm. we've had questions about the property and such. Well, they have a nonprofit organization. And the reason they wanted to sell the property was because they felt called to go deeper with their nonprofit Mm. and they needed time and money to go. They're out there um, helping people rebuild their homes that have lost Mm. it due to a tragedy and can't do it on their own. Mm. And it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you guys did that. So now we've partnered with them. And in fact, we have committed to helping them finish two houses and then we'll do more with them. But the craziest thing is in through all of this, like our relationship, we did not know them before. And it's Mm -hmm. just blossomed into this amazing relationship where we are helping each other all because of this event center that is now centered around this baby that was born. It's just crazy. So if you would have asked me in 2021, number one, would they have been having a baby? My son, I would have been like, (laughs) oh gosh, let's hope not. But (laughs) it's amazing, right? And then if you would have asked me if we would have been having our own bar and event center, I would have said, no, are you kidding me? We're not about to open a whole nother business, but we did. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Like if you, you know, sometimes you're called to step and you make that step and some amazing things can happen after. I know this part of it's get just getting started. And what's interesting to me about this too, is if we, you know, all of us as entrepreneurs, so a lot of entrepreneurs and executives that'll watch this episode or listening in now. Um, and, you know, this transition through our life as we hit different stages. And so looking at, you know, how you started in real estate, right? Your idea was, you know, you'll get involved. You're going to give back. You had that servant's mindset, that service heart to get out there and and uh, and be involved in the community and give back and volunteer, things like that. You're building your business. You're doing other things. You're finding ways to be of more value. And now you've gotten to the point to where, you know, you, your business has grown and you're able to do more. So now you're able to take on new challenges in, in including now creating that space for other people to build community. And I'm sure there'll be some other individuals that pass through those doors and that connect that are just getting started in their careers or that are, you know, looking for that place to connect and way to belong. And considering what you're doing with your with your agents and with your team as well, I mean, it seems like things kind of come full circle, right? They do. Here's the craziest thing. You know, when I have my craziest things, hold on. I'm over here like Victoria and me born on the same day. What else you got for me? It's it's insane. Honestly, it really is. Because, you know, Warren Buffett tells you that you should have five to seven streams of income to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Most real estate people or people, real estate sales agents, we should say, Mm -hmm. they really only focus on the transaction, just that commission based income. And that's it. Well, when things shift and sales are down or in a declining market, 
things can get really scary for some people. But, you know, who knew the market was going to shift like it has this year? We are not worried about it here whatsoever, nor would I ever be anyway. But because of these also other businesses that we have, we have people here on the property at all times, like whether they're thinking about buying, selling or investing in real estate. They may be out here looking to have a wedding or looking to hold a happy hour or a baby shower or a real estate panel. So we have things coming and going here on the property all the time. And it's really kind of insulated our business Mm -hmm. and helped us grow organically, whereas others are really struggling right now. So I'm super blessed because who knew that this was coming? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Oh, what what an amazing story. So as we uh as we're heading, you know, we're for for context for everybody that's watching this. So we're recording this uh or in the future. Um we're recording this in December of 2022. Um a lot of things changing in the real estate market, business world just in general. Um I have to ask so Trisha, so what what are what's kind of on the horizon as we go in as we're looking into 2023 whether it's uh whether it's in the Houston market or otherwise? So here, of course, being real estate is our foundation, and that is what holds us accountable and builds us, and we're always looking at growing our team. So our goal, couple of goals this year is, of course, to get our agents to our agent count to about 50. We're about 20 right now, so 50 would be good for us. But again, what we're doing is we're bringing in all of these other income streams for our agents because, you know, if they can get an event going or host an event or bring a wedding in, of course, naturally, there's revenue generated for them as well. But we actually are going to launch a whole nother business um, in January that I haven't told you about yet. Um, We were granted approval to have a grid chapter, our very own grid chapter. And so if you're not aware of what grid is, it's an investor group and it's nationwide and you have to be accepted into the program and then granted your own chapter. So here in Houston, we have been granted our own chapter and it's called the grid growth group. And our launch date is actually February one, I should say. And Mm -hmm. so every month, once a month, we'll be bringing our own group here to our property. And it's to teach people how to become investors in real estate. How do you do flipping? How do you do wholesaling? How do you become a hard money lender? Because if you're in real estate and your your life is just indicative on real estate sales, Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but that's not a clear path. It's not sustainable. And so we really want to educate consumers and real estate agents on how to build wealth for your family and for your generation, period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that- and I think that this is so uh, interesting to me and so telling about where your heart's at. And I'm not not to, not to talk bad about anybody else, brokers or otherwise, or just anybody in real estate, really, but let's just say that many um, brokers' models, just like a, the real estate agent is typically focused on many of the real estate agents, not everybody, on that one source of income, which is the commission, a lot of times the brokers may feel maybe some some models are focused the same way, right? What the commissions are that their broker are earning. But you, by adding these other opportunities for your brokers as well um, to to get involved and to do different things. And even like that, like what you mentioned, like weddings and other things like that and building community, like what you're really doing is you have built a platform and you have built something that those that are within your sphere, whether they're brokers or otherwise in your community, have the opportunity to participate in and to take part of whether it's monetary because they work for you, right? Or whether it's just, you know, community building because they need a space. So your entire ecosystem that you are building in in Houston, to me, it's inspiring. And when you say that you, you, you're starting this new chapter, I'm like, duh, that makes sense. That matches what you do. <laughs> it does. You know what? I'm going to tell you one of the coolest things about it, because mm-hmm. it is our own event center, we yeah. can, you know, people get fixated, like especially like you just said, a lot of brokers get fixated just on, you know, agents and their transactions. And and in my opinion, I think it's a disservice to the agents because it limits their growth and what they can do. Mm -hmm. But with us and what we have built here and we continue to add on, Mm -hmm. it really, it helps you be a better human. Mm -hmm. I had people that came here two days ago to look at our event center for a wedding. They don't Mm -hmm. have a lot of money and we're able to customize things for them based on what their needs are. Because at the end of the day, and like Mm -hmm. I told them, this place Number one, I in my wildest dreams, I never thought we would have it. And then when God said, this is what you're going to do, this is what we're doing. And so they're getting married. They want to spend their life together. I want to make that special for them. And I told them, I want you to send me an email with everything that you would like in your wedding and what you can afford. And I'm going to make that happen. And that's the coolest thing because we can do that. Mm -hmm. Nobody else does stuff like that because it shouldn't be about the money. It should be about the experience. 
Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, th- this is great. And I can't wait to hear more about what you're doing um, as well as time pass. I'm just excited. I'm bought in. I mean, 510, come on. This is, this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad in Victoria doesn't even know she has. Well, I know she has many fans, but she's got a fan over in LA too already. She I love know. that. <laughs> hey, I love that you told me that it's Mother's Day, like always in Mexico, because 510 now means even more to me. Yeah, exactly. Cool my, yeah, yes. my mom, every year I uh, uh, when we have that discussion, I'm like, what do you want for Mother's Day? And I'm like, I'm like mom, I gave you meat. No, I'm just playing. I don't tell her that. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, one thing I do want to say, though, too, mm. though, is I know the real estate market is hot on everybody's yeah. um, mind right now. Mm-hmm. And it should be because interest rates in 2022 doubled mm-hmm. and we've never, ever seen that happen in one 12 month period. Mm -hmm. And so I know there's a lot of people up there that are are freaking out and they're like, are the interest rates ever coming back down? We do believe that. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. We do believe that it's going to happen in 2023. Mm -hmm. And we do believe that what is happening right now, this little bit of a lull that we're in, you know what? Take, you know, do what you need to do every day to further your business and to hit your goals and to make sure you're working, you know, grind. You're going to have to work double and triple right now to, to make those transactions, but also take time with your family and enjoy the the Christmas time and enjoy the, the holidays because 2023 is going to be awesome. We're going to ramp right back up. We're going to have a lot of home sales and don't be surprised if we don't end up in another situation where we're out of inventory again. That's mm. what my predictions are. Yeah. I'm interested to see what happens next though. I don't, I'm not in the, I'm not in the space um, directly in terms of like managing or helping clients with that. But when I, when I was a financial advisor for many people that are, uh, that have watched this show for a long time, maybe you heard me talk about it a bit, like going into, into the the next cycle and what this next year is going to look like, you know, you're right. There are a lot of people that are very um, uneasy on what happens next. But my, my personal belief is just that, you know, the United States is a, still a great place to invest us to live to be at and um and we we weathered some storms before and this won't be the this won't be this definitely isn't the first and this won't be the last but uh but i'm optimistic overall that um that will pull out and and the american spirit and the and the motivation behind um achieving i think i think will pull out Mm-hmm. I think more people need to talk like you do and be optimistic and positive and have a platform like you do to let people voice that because there's enough people out there talking about negativity and yeah. doom and gloom stuff. We don't believe in that. We believe that 2023 mm-hmm. is going to be an amazing year. And, you know, it's all on your mindset. It's mm-hmm. how you look at things. It's the choices that you make. Yeah. Winner, there'll be winners and losers. You decide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that completely. Heck yeah. Well, Trisha, I have to say, um, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on the show and working with you. If somebody's watching this and they want to learn more about about your group or also obviously some of the other things you have going out, this is this is your time. Like, how do people connect with the brand overall? I swear, you guys, if you Google Trisha Turner, but you got to spell it right, Mm T-R-I-C-I-A, you'll find us everywhere. We're the Trisha Turner Group on Instagram. We're the Trisha Turner Group on YouTube. We're Trisha Turner Property Group on Facebook. And of course, Trisha Turner is just everywhere. And you can always go to the website, Mm calltrishaturner.com and schedule a call there. So I'd love to talk to you guys about anything. You want to start an event center? I'll help you. Want to come up with a name? I'll help you. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I have to say it has been, again, great having you back on the show. And to the audience, as always, thank you for, for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. And uh, Trisha, thanks again for coming on. Thanks for having me. You guys have a great day.